excretion the wastage disposing system what is waste waste means which is not useful disposing disposing means the waste products will be transport from one place to another place system now system system means a process now the process is disposal waste products now let us see about the excretion in details now coming to the definition of excretion is the process of removal of harmful metabolic waste products and salts from the body of an organism is called excretion in latin ex means out crinari means sift excretion take place in hum in animals as well as plants the lungs and kidneys are the main organs of excretion in human beings in plants however there are no special organs plants excrete waste products by shedding their leaves bark etc living beings need energy for their survival and to perform activities either building up of body materials or its breaking breakdown collectively called metabolic activities excretion in human beings the excretory system in human beings consists of a pair kidneys a pair ureters urinary bladder urethra look at the picture a pair kidneys a pair kidneys a pair ureters a pair ureters urinary bladder urinary bladder urethra look at the picture ma here there are two kidney are they one left side kidney right side kidney ureters urinary bladder and urethra kidneys we can see the diagram the kidneys are reddish brown color bean shaped paid organs which lie towards the back of our body slightly higher above the waist the kidneys are reddish color reddish brown color bean shaped pair organs which lie towards the back of our body slightly 
higher above the waist. They are protected by the last two pairs of ribs. What is meaning of ribs? A ribs means the bones which are covering the kidneys. The right kidney is position, positioned slightly lower than the left kidney as the right side of the abdominal cavity is occupied by the liver. The right side of the the right side of the abdominal cavity occupied by the liver ma. The right kidney is positioned slightly lower than the left kidney. Think why it is so because of the large liver, large liver which sits superior to it. The ureter and the renal vein come out and the renal artery enters the kidney and the inner concave side of the kidney. The ureters and renal arteries and vein come out and renal arteries enter the, enter the kidney on, on the inner concave side of the kidney. Kidneys remove nitrogenous waste and excess water from the blood. As said earlier, here the waste products are nitrogenous and excess water from the blood these are going to be dis dispersing through a system. Ureters Look at the picture ma. This part, this part name is Ureters. Ureters. The ureters transport urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. The ureters transport the urine, the kidney to the urinary bladder. Each ureter opens, each ureters open, opens in the urinary bladder by a slight leg. Aperture. Aperture means gap. Aperture means gap. Urinary bladder. The urinary bladder acts as a muscular reservoir from for urine. The urinary bladder acts as a muscular reservoir from urine. It lies in the pelvic cavity of the abdomen. The neck of the urine bladder is surrounded by sphincters which remain closed until the time of urination. What is uh, sphincter means ma? Sphincters means opening of the stomach. Opening opening of the stomach opening of the spectors means opening of the stomach urethra the urethra is a membranous tube that arises from the neck of bladder and extends up to the urethral orifice. 
in human smell it is a in human in human male it is a common passage of urine and sperms in females in females it serves as a passage of for urine only structure of nephron what is nephron nephron is the functional unit of a kidney each kidney consists of more than 1 million nephrons or urinous tubules each nephron consists of a morphogen capsule renal tubuli collecting tubuli a morphogen capsule has two parts a bowman's capsule a glomerulus the bowman's capsule is having light light outer side colored position is there and glomerulus inner position glomerulus is inner position bowman's capsule is outer side position ma bowman's capsule it is situated on the proximal part of the nephron proximal part of the nephron bowman's capsule it is a double walled cup shaped structure double walled cup shape cup shaped structure the outer can can cavity of bowman's cup is filled with a not like bundle of blood capillaries called glomerulus a bowman's cup cup filled with a like bundle of blood capillaries bundle of blood capillaries called glomerulus a glomerulus an artery is attached to one end of glomerulus a glomerulus attached one to an artery to this artery brings blood containing waste materials like urea into glomerulus waste materials like urea into glomerulus the other end of the glomerulus is a blood capillary it comes out of bowman's capsule other end of blood capillaries come comes out of the comes comes out of the blood ca, blood capillaries comes out of the bowman's bowman's capsules it surrounds the nephric tubuli and then joins the renal renal vein discharging urea free clean blood into it the blood capillaries seen glomerulus are formed by branching of afferent and efferent arteries of renal artery renary artery brings oxygenated blood loaded with waste products renal vein 
carries deoxygenated blood afferent afferent carry blood towards afferent 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 arterioles is carry blood away nephrectively or renectively it is a long coiled tubule and can be divided into three major regions renectively the proximal convoluted tubule pct the loop of henle the distal convoluted tubule the proximal convoluted tubule this look at the picture ma proximal convoluted tubule this part this part is ma the loop of henle the loop of henle the distal convoluted tubule this part this part name is now distal convoluted tubule proximal proximal convoluted tubule it is the interior convoluted region of the nephric tubule it is a highly coiled structure the loop of henle the loop of henle it is a u shaped it is a u shaped loop formed in the middle of the nephric tubule the distal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule it is a convoluted structure it opens into the collected tubule distal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule opens into the collected tubule collecting tubule collecting tubule is formed many nephrons empties into a larger collecting duct collecting duct collecting ducts drain the urine collected from the nephron into the ureter collecting duct collecting duct drain the urine collected from the nephron into the ureter thank you